Hello Youtubers. I want to thank you all for taking time out of your day to look at my video. This is a, a Halloween mini journal that I've made. I make my own boxes. I start with chipboard and I make the boxes with scrapbooking paper and line them and also make the, the um, mini journal from chipboard as well starting from scratch. So here's the cover of this one. It has a different paper inside and Here's the journal in the box with some pretty paper and again the liner and the base. I'm going to use this to hold this up and hope that it works to show the, the mini off to you. Let me check and see how that looks through the camera lens. That looks pretty good. So what I've done is I've embellished the rings, two rings, with lots of ribbons. There are um, die cuts on the front. This says trick or treat and this is obviously a spooky chandelier. I've touched all the edges with black soot ink so that it doesn't show the cardboard edge. And inside I have each page is a little different. This first one has a let me put that over a little bit for you. This first one has a magnet in it. It's a flip page. So there's spaces for lots of photographs, space for five photographs, and it closes with a magnet. My ribbons are all attached on the front and the back with buttons. The next page has lots of tags. You can see um, each one is a little different. I've made them all from scratch. I uh, put little rings and little bling on them. They have blanks in the back so they look a little spooky. And this is the first time I've done a video from sitting behind the book so I hope this is working and you can see everything. And this is the last one in here. I cut the pockets with a, a die cut machine and put a little extra, this was a white flower when I started, I dyed it green and put some stickles on it to make it sparkle. I like this plaid paper behind here as well as the checks over here, the hound's tooth. Over here we have a little cemetery scene, there's some spooky ghosts flying above this graveyard behind these, these bushes. There's four little tags that resemble gravestones. I put stamping on this one. It says R.A.P. And on the back there is a spider and I've enhanced his body with a big um, gem. So that's one tag. They're all similar. They all have the spider on the back. The polka dot paper and then this little plaid one. Over here I have a pretty plain page. I leave a lot of times my books are plain so that people can put their own photos or newspaper articles or a copy of an invitation or something they had for, to a party they either went to or gave. A couple little tags. They're blank on the back. I ink them up with some pink ink to match the paper. And this is a little chipboard embellishment. This is scary. I think this is very pretty. I, I left this plain because it's like a panoramic view. I did stamp a spider web up here, but I, I like this purple a lot. You can see this is a companion to the bottom of the box, actually. There are two tags in here. This is a photo mat, two-sided photo mat. I stamped a chandelier in there as well. And this is a little little photo book, a little journaling space inside. I punched this. This says Boo up here. Placed a chandelier sticky embellishment there. It has a little raised edge. Then inside, when you flip it open, here's the punched edge, here's a place to write some journaling, another place for a photo, and another place for a photo. There's a little house stamped on it with a bat. This page, I um, love this little polka dot fabric, or excuse me, fat paper, not fabric. I'm a quilter too, so I guess everything seems to be either fabric or paper to me. Um, I made this little flower out of a layering three or four flowers, three flowers, one on top of the other, four. And I punched this out with a little EK Success punch that I have. 
And I made these three tags. I just think they're so cute. I love the paper. I love the brad. And the backs are just, again, hauntingly spooky, plain. You can do whatever you want on the back. Put a photo or journaling. I just think they're real cute, and they just tuck in there. And my last page is plain. I think that's really cute. Um, Jacquard paper and the pumpkin sitting there. They kind of go with the little pumpkin face that's on this brad. I thought that was a nice transition. And on the back... I have another little pocket that I punched with a with a punch has pumpkins along the back of it. And you can put tags in here. I just put my little tag that says handmade by Emmy in the back. So I thank you very much for taking the time out of your busy day to look at my journal. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope you'll stop by from time to time and, and see what else I'm up to. This is for sale by the way. I've had this on posted on my Etsy site. So if you go over to Studio Emmy at Etsy, you'll see this and a couple other journals as well. Thanks for stopping by.